Welcome to the All-Star Math Video Tutor. This is Mrs. Dorless, and the topic of this lesson is the distributive property. Now, the word distribute means to give out. Just like we would on Christmas Day, we would give out presents, we would distribute them to our family and our friends. Well, the distributive property tells us that that's what we need to do is give out. Well, the, pr the property is to distribute, but the operation that it involves is parentheses, which means to multiply. So we need to keep those two things in mind. Now let me show you an example with some letters, not necessarily yet with numbers, and see how we would do this. We have the parentheses and we have something outside the parentheses. We want to distribute the A to the B and also the A to the C. When we distribute and we give out, this is what it would look like. We'd have A times B plus A times C. That we would simplify from there. Now there it is in theory, let's try it with some numbers. Okay. First, let's have 4 times the quantity of f plus 5. Well, we would give the 4 to the f and also give the 4 to the 5. So basically what we're doing is saying we're going to multiply 4 times f and then we're going to add 4 times 5. Let's simplify that a little further, 4 times f being 4f and 4 times 5 being 20. Now we can't simplify any further because they, ca they have nothing else in common and they can't be further combined. Let's take a look at another problem here, 5 times the quantity of d minus 3. If I distribute the 5 to the d and the 5 to the 3, we can bring this down and show our multiplication again. 5 times the quantity of d minus 5 times the quantity of 3. We go ahead and simplify by order of operations. 5 times d is 5d and 5 times 3 is 15. We can't bring it down any further or combine it any further because there is no more like terms. Now let's try it with a negative out front and see what happens. We'll take a negative 3 and multiply that times the 4 and a negative 3 times the g. So when we go to rewrite that it would be negative 3 times 4 plus we would bring down the sign that we have there negative 3 times g. We go ahead and simplify negative 3 times 4, which is negative 12. And we have a double sign going on here, a positive and negative. And we know from our integer work that a positive times a negative is a negative. And then we're going to bring the 3g with us. Our last problem we're going to look at, again, is going to be distributing a negative out. But we, this time we have a subtraction sign in between. So we're going to have to keep an eye on these double signs, just like we did up here. So if we give a negative 2 to the 4 and a negative 2 out to the e, we're going to bring down this subtraction sign so we don't lose it. Negative 2 times positive 4 and negative 2 times the letter e. Negative 2 times positive 4 is negative 8. Again, we have this double sign going on. A negative times a negative we know to be a positive. And 2 times e then is 2e. Again, this is as simple as it would get because there are no common terms. Now, let's take a look at this from a little bit of algebra point of view, but really it's something we all can do. We're going to distribute this one-third out to the h and also give the one-third out to the 12. So let's multiply. One-third times h plus one-third times 12. Now, the one-third h, just like we would with any number, we would put a 1 underneath it. We can't do any cross-canceling to simplify, so we would just multiply through, and this would become h over 3. Over here on this side, though, we bring down our plus sign. On this side, we would put a 1 under the 12, but we have some canceling that we can do. A 3 can go into 3 one time, and a 3 can go into 12 four times. Once we do that, we finish and multiply. 1 times 4 is 4, and 1 times 1 is 1. We can simplify this even further, and when we take it to our last step of simplification, we get h over 3 plus 4. This is the end of this all-star math video lesson.